Last week on Drenched, we did a pretty intense mission kayaking out to dive the Carthaginian, rated one of the top 10 wreck dives in the world. Then, we dove the wreck again the next day, but this time, we did it by submarine. bubble cave on this dive which is a little pocket of you go into a cave and you come up and there's an air pocket and what did you say we were gonna see in there we we're gonna see a monk seal in there yeah it's been done to happen i bet we'll see a turtle in there though well we will see a turtle in there. i bet we're gonna see all the turtles the turtles here have like crazy they have like it's like turtle herpes yeah, and they look really gnarly i don't really know that much about it do you know i know it's in the decline but oh, yeah, it, uh, there was a big <laughs> turtle herpes outbreak in the 80s and some of the turtles that are still kicking it from that era are uh, looking pretty rough. The tiger sharks aren't doing their job <laughs> and uh, maybe they don't want to, I wouldn't eat those turtles either. Yeah, they look nasty. We'll see them. Yeah, well here we are. We're here, I didn't even know. We we're pulling up right now. Check it out, yo. Alright, we're with my buddy Steve. Uh, How you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, Steve and I actually know each other for a long time now. We went through uh, instructor, scuba instructor training uh, together in Salt Lake City. And then we moved out here to Maui about the same time. So well, He came out a couple months before me and he kept posting <laughs> pictures all the time. I told him to cut it out or I was going to show up out here and uh, sure enough I did. Yeah. It's a nice little place to dive. It's called Five Caves, Five Graves, also in my kind of landing uh, park area. Uh, lots to see here. There's all kind of animals come in and out of this area. Everything from yeah, turtles, sharks. We're gonna dive and see what we can see, and uh, we'll let uh, deep breathe after. Let's all do right. it. We dropped down and made our way through the shallow reef that hooked around the point and led toward a wall lined with caves, skylights, and swim throughs. As we entered into the first cave, the turtle parade had already begun. As we explored the dark corners, we stumbled upon turtle after turtle after turtle. Then we entered the bubble cave and swam all the way to the back where you can poke your head out. <laughs> there was no monk seal back there like Nate was hoping for, but it was still such a cool place to hang out for a while. The topography of the caves was so cool, but it was the macro life that really stole the show for me. We were in nudibranch heaven. After filming so many large animals in Big Island like mantas and sharks, it was a fun change of pace to give the macro lens a good workout.
As the minutes ticked away, it started slowly getting darker and darker. And before we knew it, we found ourselves on a night dive. We came across this little nudie bank right here, and only now when reviewing the footage did I notice that there's some tiny little creature that crawls across its back. I watched this over and over again in disbelief. The ocean is full of so many surprises and infinite unknowns. How many tiny things do we swim right past every single time we enter the water? This is what I love about diving. The ocean never ceases to make you question everything you know. If anyone knows what this tiny little animal is, please let us know in the comments. Our door just slid open while we were driving. I can't believe that just happened. Nate says it's because I got little girl arms, so I didn't shut the door good. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. Lack of protein. All right. Pulled in and nothing fell out. It's Friday, Aloha Friday again. You know what that means. Time for cheap chicken. Five bucks. That's how you do it. Oh, here goes the sandwich lady. I'm gonna follow her. All right, we got the groceries, we got the van, and yeah, we got the door figured out. So the door is closing now, which is cool. And we got some coffee for Nate. We almost forgot coffee. That would have been so sad. And yeah, it's pretty hot. But other than that, I think this van's going to be really, really sweet. And I am also excited to have the best weekend maybe of my whole life. I don't know. It could happen. It could be the best weekend of our lives. We'll uh, find out. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're getting ready to go into a really awesome event. And there's all these cars lined up for this really cool event. Just kidding, we're at Costco, getting gas. Mr. Costco is doing something right. He's a genius. I don't know if saving $5 is worth wasting 30 minutes of my life. Yeah. We're sheep, we're Costco sheep, but now we're committed. Totally using my electronics while we fuel. We're rebels. We stopped at a dive spot called Maliko Bay that we were hoping to hit for a night dive. This site has some really cool topography, and we heard a rumor that back in the day it was super sharky because they used to throw dead cows into the water there. I have no idea if this is true or not, but nonetheless, it makes for a very spooky but exciting night dive. But today the surf was up, and it looked more like a mud bath than a dive site. So we decided to carry on further to a different spot to camp for the night. Aloha Campers was nice enough to borrow us this uh, <laughs> this nice uh, Westphalia camper van. Westphalia! I can't figure out how to roll up the window. Ooh. Cruising to Hana on this. Uh, road to Hana is well known to be the most beautiful drive in the world. Uh, I don't, I don't know. know about the world. I don't know. Some travel magazine yeah. says that every year. Oh, really? I mean, look oh. at it. No, I, Just I mean, look at it, everybody. I believe that it is extremely beautiful, but I mean, I haven't been on all the roads in the world, so I was hesitant. To well, see. the person that has said that it is. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that tree. That is probably the most beautiful tree in the world. Case closed. Jordan is doing a fantastic job. 
This is her kind of vehicle. She drives really slow like a grandma and this car can only go grandma speeds. So it's uh, it's like a match made in heaven. It's destiny. Yeah, this West Valley is my destiny. Yeah. And as you can see, she dressed up as uh, Garth from Wayne's World. Party on Wayne. Okay, is it because my hair is crazy? Yeah. We continued along the famous drive, which is simply known as the Road to Hana. This lush drive is littered with waterfalls and breathtaking lookouts. But don't get too caught up in the scenery if you're driving. There are 600 switchbacks and 54 one-lane bridges on this 64-mile stretch of road. There are tons of awesome stops along the way for hiking, exploring, and swimming. But since we bailed on our original camp spot at Maliko, we decided to drive straight through and camp at the end so we could be some of the first people to hit all the good spots in the morning. Oh, we're driving off the road. I wasn't expecting that. Nate was, Nate was pulling over to let some people pass and I thought we were just swerving off the road. Oh, oh, okay, we made it. So we just passed through the town of Hana and that means that we're getting pretty close to our camp spot for the night, I think, yeah? Yeah, almost there. <laughs> like how far? Like two minutes. two minutes. I didn't even know we were that close. This is so exciting. We're almost there. Woo! We made it. Yeah. Made it to Hana. We got all the essentials. We got pickles, beer, feta, wings, and sandwich. We got a, a variety pack of beers, and we got a new flavor that we never tried before. What's it called? Magic Sands Mango Saison. Saison? What does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know. Is that like a beer term? Yeah, it's a kind of beer. Like it's a type of beer? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. What? You went and did the Kona Brew Tour and learned all about beer and you don't know what a Saison is? <laughs> How those beans coming along? <laughs> oh, they're done. Oh, they're done. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's, that's one good saison. Mm. This is our campsite. It does not look like much right now, but you just wait until the morning and it is pretty spectacular place to wake up. So um, yeah, we're having a pretty mellow night tonight. Just drinking a couple beers, eating our beans, and we're getting ourselves physically and mentally rested for tomorrow, which is gonna be a pretty action-packed day. So we gotta rest up we're gonna get a super early start tomorrow. It's gonna be a really fun day and I'm really excited. Happy Friday everybody. Jordan coming at you from the editing cave today and I just wanted to say a quick hello and thank you for stopping by and taking a little bit of time out of your day to check out our video. Also, if you missed last week's episode, we made a really exciting announcement, which is that we are giving away a dive package for two with Kona Honu divers on the big island of Hawaii. And what's included in that package is one manta ray night dive, one black water night dive, and three morning two tank dive charters. And last week I also forgot to mention, this package can be for snorkelers as well. And everything except for, of course, a black water dive, that one is for divers only. And we're gonna be drawing the winner next Friday, February 17th, at the end of our episode. And as of right now, as I'm filming this, there's actually only five people entered to win the contest. So you have a really good chance of winning if you sign up now. And how do you enter to win, you might be wondering. It's really simple. Just head on over to our Patreon page, which is also listed in the description below. And how Patreon works is you pledge a dollar amount for every episode we release. And it can be as much or as little as you like, and you can set a monthly limit to make sure you stay on your budget for that. And once you pledge to us on Patreon, you're automatically entered to win not only this dive package, but we're also going to be doing lots of future dive package giveaways as well. And we have some other cool rewards for our patrons, which you can learn more about on our page. So definitely head on over and check that out. Speaking of which, we want to say a big hello and thank you to our two newest patrons, Emily Dingwell and Karina. Thank you so much for your support. We are very grateful and welcome to the team. Also, last but not least, we would like to let you guys know that Nate and I were going to be doing a West Coast road trip slash dive trip. We're going to be going from San Diego all the way up to Vancouver Island. So if you guys want to meet up for a dive along the way, or if you have any tips, recommendations of places that we should check out, then let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and we will see you next Friday, February 17th, where we'll be drawing our winner for the dive package giveaway. We'll see you then. Have a good weekend.